Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Uh oh. Uh, we've done tipped it, Han. Let's fling it real quick. Ooh. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that is insane. Hello YouTube, Moto Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Stormworks Build and Rescue. And yes, folks, we are back once again, and we are ready to check out some more awesome creations. So today, we are going to be starting off with probably one of the most unique creations I have ever seen in Stormworks. Now, probably about a month ago, we checked out a mech, which was absolutely amazing. And well, White Noises came back with another one, and it's bigger, badder, and a bit more laggier. So we're going to go over that here today. I've got some other creations. All of those will be linked down in the description if you want to play with anything that you see on this episode. But yeah, we'll be doing that. Also, uh, we did do a multiplayer sinking ship survival just the other day. I'll flash that in the top right corner. And I've got some more plans coming up. we got some more ghost ship coming up. And I got a couple other things, uh, and maybe we'll incorporate the, uh, the latest update. They've added some watertight doors. Supposedly, you can actually, like, dock submarines under the water and actually go in between them without getting wet, and it looks amazing, so maybe we'll get to some of that here very soon also. But anyways, if you guys have any suggestions for Stormworks, comment below, and if you're enjoying this series on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel, and let's do it. All right, folks, I'm going to give you guys a warning. This first creation is going to lag. So originally we checked out the M20 Atlantis mech. Well, now we have the M50, and I think it's the Demos mech. I believe I'm saying that right. Yeah, this thing is way bigger than the M20, and the M20 was already pretty huge. All right, so prepare yourselves. It will get better once we get away from the dock. The dock is always inherently laggy, especially with how this creation spawns in, which you can see it here. It spawns in on its back. So as soon as I get it upright, this should be pretty decent. So bear with me here. But look at this. It barely fits in the dock. This is a standing walking mech. Oh man, white noise, you've outdone yourself. So I'm going to go down here with all my like 5 to 10 FPS and I'm going to climb into the back of this thing and we're going to check this out. I just really need to get to the seat here. Now as far as instructions, there wasn't too many on the workshop so I hope I can work this thing. I saw from pictures this thing doing amazing things like flipping ships, which that almost sounded wrong. I, I can assure you I said ships. And I'm pretty sure YouTube's thing picked it up as something else, because that happens a lot. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into the cockpit. Alright, in the cockpit. Oh, look at the buttons. Alright, let's go ahead, climb up into here. It's a little bit better in here. So there's your spotlights, internal lights, dials. Okay, those are all... Okay, that's already active. Ballast pumps, which that will help us to walk underwater. Let's see, initiate power sequence, foghorn... Uh, there's the torso rotation. He also has a little uh, a list on the side here that we can learn some of these controls. Just looking at the basics here. Alright, so let's go ahead. Initiate power sequence here. I feel like I'm in Pacific Rim or something. Oh, look at that. It's actually making the head move up. Oh, we're going back now. Uh oh, feels like we're getting leaned back in a dentist chair or something. Alright, so that is initiated. Now what does it do? We're still on our backs. Oh, it's cranking up still. Is this going to raise itself out of water? Oh, no way. No way. And yes, the lag's starting to clear up. Uh, something about the collisions, and I know some of you guys might notice this from my sinking ship survival videos. Once a boat or a creation collides with the ground, it does tend to lag. So this is a bit better. It's going to get even more better once we go a little further out here but let's go ahead and learn how to walk this thing all right so we need to turn the legs on so power on legs boom legs are powered up all right so I think we're ready to walk here everything else is pretty much okay spotlights let's turn those bad boys on real quick all right torso rotation that's all your arm controls all right let's go ahead and do this let's start to walk forward now, the first time I checked this out, he's got like a gyro in it, I know that, but he also had magnets on the bottom of the feet to help it click into the ground, and here we go. 
Uh, I don't know if that's still the case. We can try to... I don't, can't even get the camera down there to see that. Oh, look at that. And we're crashing into the water. Did they make right around the dock deeper? Seems like they might have. This thing's so huge. Yeah, we're touching the sea floor, and it's like nothing. Like, we're still halfway out of the water. All right, we are walking forward now. Let's go ahead. We're still... We're pushing here. This is gonna take a second, cause... You know, actually, I should probably flood this thing real quick. That way we can, uh, be sure that we're on the ground. Okay, so we're gonna hit that pump there. That should... Okay, we're moving down a little bit, so it should be weighing us down. Alright. Is there any buttons up here? Oh, check that out. I didn't see that the first time. There's a little magnet sign over there. Are we not magnetized, or is that for our hands? I know its hands have huge magnets on it. All right, we're starting to book. It is walking. It's not extremely fast, but geez, it's huge. Uh, it's working rather well, though. It's so well balanced. I really want to spawn a ship and flip it over like they show in the picture. I don't understand how many frames he was getting during that. It couldn't have been many. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's turn that uh, ballast off real quick. I don't know if that's slow. It feels like it's actually slowing us down. Alright, so we can turn the mech so the top half of the body, I believe, turns. Or maybe the whole thing turns. I believe the whole thing might actually turn. Uh, you can uh, extend your hands out. We can rotate them. Okay, let's turn our arms on. There we go. Okay, arms are on. Here they come up out of the water. Oh, uh, check that out. That's cool. So, yeah, he's got a... Yeah, that's really, really aggressive. So, I could see... Oh, we just hopped there. I could definitely see where you'll pop ships up out of the water with this. That is cool. Now, the only thing that I think this mech might possibly be missing... Could you imagine if this thing could fly? Like, it does everything else. I'm not putting any pressure on uh, white noise at all. I just thought it'd be a neat thing to see. But yeah, we can... Uh, let's move these arms up real quick. There we go. And we could do everything with the arms. Hold on, let me go ahead and start to hit some keys here. Okay, so you could toggle it open. Oh, that looks mean. Look at all the magnets. That thing could grab like a sub and just hold it and chunk it. That, that is something else. That is just absolutely astounding. It's so impressive. Like, look at how far we've come in Stormworks. All right, so we're going to let Mr. Mech do. Does this guy have a way back up? Uh-oh. Uh, is there not a ladder all the way back up him? We need to go a little further out in the water. I'd like to spawn a boat, but i got to make sure I can get back up in the creation. All right, here we go. The poor little fishing boat is gonna get it here. We're gonna smash it. I don't wonder if we could pick it up. I'm pretty sure that's a thing, too. Uh, let's see, rotate. Okay, open the hands with four. All right, let's go ahead and raise those up. Now, his hands, sometimes, they seem like they might get a little... I don't think it's stuck against the body, but they brush against the body. Okay, let's go ahead and rotate those hands real quick. Do I have to hold it, or...? No. Oh, come on. Come on, buddy. There we go. Took a couple clicks there. Okay, that right arm seems to be... Little... Oh, he just smashed the boat, buddy! Uh-oh. Oh, we've done tipped it, Han. Huh? Let's fling it real quick. Ooh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that is insane. That is... Oh, it's actually going to land on the arm. Boom. This thing can full-blown flip boats. That's crazy. Uh, let's do it again. Let's go. Ooh. Oh, that is amazing. And we just dunk it back down. Like, it just plays with it like a little bath toy. You know, I guarantee you, if we could spawn a really big boat with this, it would easily flip it over. Like, no problems. Oh, that is crazy. Cool. All right, so that is the M50 mech. Uh, maybe once the game gets a little clearer, I know a lot of people want to see like a, a mech fight in multiplayer. We might be able to do it with the, I guess it was the M20 or the M30, whatever it was called. Uh, but the M50 is a little heavy on the FPS. It gets a bit real uh, with this, but this is still probably one of the most impressive creations here in Stormworks. And... Yeah, if you want to toss some boats around, feel free to spawn this bad boy out and get flinging. All right, so for our next creation here, we have something from a little game called Subnautica. 
This is the Cyclops, and this is a fairly decent sized sub. Let's spawn it in real quick. Check this out. I don't play with subs enough in this game because these are absolutely magnificent creations. Plus the whole fact of, I think you're gonna see some more of them on the workshop. Like I said, there was a recent update that has added some sort of airlock door, watertight door, that you can connect like two things underwater and actually transfer crew. And I think that's absolutely awesome. So, I haven't played Subnautica. It's been in my Steam library for like probably several years now. And I've never touched it, so I don't even know how to get into the sub. I'm sure it's got to be at the top, correct? Maybe I'm just looking beyond it, huh? There's, there's a way into the sub up here somewhere. Alright, so there's a little hatch here. I'm assuming this is an airlock? Possibly? Oh, let's go up into here. Oh, 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 okay. There's that. Alright. Oh. Oh, this is a little pocket of uh, water in here. Okay, so... Oh, it's draining itself. Oh, that's cool. That is really cool. Okay. So, we can go... Remember to drain first, okay? So we don't su actually flood the sub. Uh, how accurate is this to the Cyclops? Do you guys know? And, oh, no, 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 no. That's, that's water. Okay. Don't go that way. Alright, so let's get up into this hatch. Now, it says this is really recommended for three people to pilot, but, I mean, I'm a one-man crew today. I think I could do this by myself. What would the third or the other two people be for? On, what is this? You know, I have a feeling that this might support another sub. Okay, that's filled with water there. There's a side door, which, okay, bay doors. Okay, so if I open that, hold on, click that again. Does that open that side door? You would think it does. Huh. Or is that the bottom doors? You know, there's another little creation, huh? Can I drain that portion of it? I don't know if that's draining that or not. There's a uh, there's another smaller creation called the... I think it's a sea moth. Does that go with this sub? Uh, here we go. Let's go ahead and get moving. Bottom props, main props. What is the difference here? Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. Uh Okay, I guess we're going immediately down. Okay, there it goes. So we can go up and down there. That is so cool. That control is really nice. I like these, uh, I don't like these controls on like a, say an airplane, but these little stick controls where it'll stay. This is like perfect for a sub because we can just leave it alone. Like this thing's just a cruising and we can get moving really. Now question is, I don't, like, I want to say that other one fits in there. I, I feel like we should just spawn it just to try it. So, let's kill motors real quick. Do we float when we kill? Oh, we do. Oh, how nice. All right, so we are floating right now. Let's go... Hold on, let me go and make sure the, uh, the bay doors are open. Okay, click that. All right, you see those opening down there. Sweet. No, keep holding it. All the way. Now, there's a magnet here somewhere, so I think it's probably right under this door. Possibly? I don't know. Wait, does this whole room have a drain on it? So, technically, I mean, it would because these are airtight doors. So, we could go, boom, this is going to fill... No, it isn't going to fill this up. Yeah, it is. Come on, I lied. All right, so we can go down here. We can get out of that. That's so cool because we can easily just go back in there and drain it. So it's like a second way into the sub. All right, let's go back to the uh, the workbench and grab the other one. And we might have to go exploring here. All right, so we have the sea moth. Okay, that's a little personal sub. This thing's got to fit in there. You would think it does. Does it have a magnet? Yes, there is a magnet connecting point right there. This is totally going to work. Oh, I'm excited now. All right, let's... let's uh oh, nope, don't tip it. Don't tip it. Oh, does the character in Stormworks actually have weight? All right, close that. Oh, please close the hatch. Uh, fill, drain, uh, main lights, power core, interior, magnet connector. How do we close the hatch on this thing? Is there is a butt? Oh, it's right there. Duh. All right, let's go ahead. Ooh, this thing is weird. All right, let's go ahead and start this up. I, I mean weird in a good way. I'm just trying to figure it out. We're, just, we're really leaned over right now. Interior, main lights... Power core lights. There's the magnet connector for the Cyclops. So when I click fill, what does that do? Does it? That doesn't fill the cabin, does it? No. 
It's constantly on drain. So if I hit fill, does that sink us? Oh no, that actually fills the cabin. Why would you do that? <laughs> Seems a little strange to me. Okay, we're good. Let's see. How does this thing? Oh, this is WASD control. Oh, this is a little weird. A little weird. These uh, little subs like this always, I have problems controlling them. And it's not really anything to do with how, or at least the control scheme. I just, they bounce around a lot. Uh, we played with a personal sub the other day, and it kind of did the same thing. Actually, this is really good once you get moving. Dude, that is so cool. It's our little personal mini sub. Sweet. All right, so we're going to go down here. Uh, I kind of understand. I had to think about it for a second. I'm a big dum-dum. I'm like, man, why does the cabin fill with water? It's like, well, obviously, if you deploy this thing or when we're going to load it up here, which this is going to be... Oh, we're going to run into the Cyclops here. This is going to be a little bit awkward, actually, once I think about it. Uh, we need to make this thing dive. We really just got to get it stuck. Like, we need to get it stuck under the uh, under the other one. So let's go whoop, boop, 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 boop. I guess it doesn't matter which way we load it up. Ideally, I guess it'd be uh, aiming forward. But if we could just get under this, this would be good. Oh, this is so cool. Okay. Uh, no, 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 we're gonna miss it, we're gonna miss, we missed our target. Oh, we can just back up. Oh, this thing actually does back up really good. Alright, no, we got this. Uh, we just gotta, we gotta do like a 20 point turn, and we will eventually get the Seamoth in the Cyclops. Up, 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 there we go, that is pretty close. Alright, there it goes, it's gonna float up. Alright, so we want to, let's just kill the motor. Or does that sink us? Maybe we need to keep this going. All right, let's go and fill this up with water real quick. Let's turn on. Ooh, that's... Okay, that's a bad thing. Oh, that's a really bad thing. Okay, so that sunk us. Let's go ahead and drain that. So, realistically, we need to have... and Which I should have done it before. We need to have this magnet on up here. Then we should make the little mini sub go up. All right. This is still cranked. So we just got to turn the magnet on. There, okay. Magnet's on. I think it's carrying me. It's hard to see because, yeah, things are happening. Oh, we just missed it. Okay, I can see it right there. We need to go a little forward. Little little down. Little down. We almost got it. All right, let's go forward. Come on. I'm surprised those haven't connected. Oh, I think it just did. Oh, there it goes. All right, Seamoth is connected. Now for the draining portions of this. We need... Okay, keep the drain button on. Keep that off. Let's go and kill the sea moth. Now, when I close the cockpit, that should drain it. All right, I do believe we are lifting back up. Okay. There we go. I think we're coming up off the ground, so maybe this will actually close. Uh, let's just go bay doors open. Okay, bay doors shut. It's close enough, I think. All right, let's go ahead. Let's make sure, you know, it could be the engine too. Is this bad boy still fired up? I don't worry if those are, uh, we're making the pumps not work. Oh, no, 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 no. No, we don't want to go yet. Let's just, let's just get this thing back up. All right. Well, that is like a, a nailed it moment. That is close enough, right? I'm pretty sure it's not the way that fits in there. It's fine. It's completely fine. Did it finally drain itself? Did we drain here? Okay, we did drain. I still can't get it all the way up there. It's like the, you have to probably line that up a lot better than I did, but still, nonetheless, we got the sea moth on. All right, we are ready to go down to the bottom of the ocean, so we're going to go ahead and start to sink this. There it goes. Hold those down. All right. Is this thing, does it need to be flooded somewhere for this to go all the way down? Feels like it's a little resilient here with going down. I don't wonder if it's because the the door is actually being open. I bet you that uh, the sea moth doors, yeah, that's having an effect on this. I don't wonder if we should just release the sea moth. I mean, technically, we screwed this up very badly. Oh yeah, the doors won't even open now. Oh, there it goes. Han, I don't wonder if we could try attempting to close that again. No, I don't. I don't get how that's supposed to work because. It's only got one magnet connection. I guess maybe if we were... Oh, this is... Oh, we're going down now. Oh, I think this is working. Uh-oh. Come on, get to the helm. Get to the helm. Guys, I'm good at subbing. Like, me and subs, we're, uh, we're meant for each other. I totally got this. All right. Well, now we have a bit of a predicament. I am pointing straight down. 
And I can't get this thing to point up. Can I flip it? No. Okay, so we need to... All right, let's go. Maybe adjust those forward. Uh, and you know what? Let's adjust these. Let's reverse the propellers. Or just let off here. Is that going to... Okay, that's going to upright us. Okay, we're good. We're good. Uh, Komodo is... He's going on an adventure right now with this. This is a cool creation, though. Like, I, I'm... Don't get me wrong. I'm having fun right now. I'm just trying to learn it. All right, so I've killed the motors. We're going straight vertical right now in the Cyclops. I think we're going to get the Seamoth out and just go explore the bottom of the ocean with that. I, I can't... I, I'm having some issues here. Ever since we loaded that thing up, it is just... Uh, it's not been happy with what I'm doing. Actually, we're surfacing, I believe. Oh, that is a scary feeling going like that in a sub. Okay, here we go. Surface. Okay. All right, so we are back in the Seamoth. We're going to take this thing out, and we're going to go kind of discover the bottom of the ocean. We're going to go places we haven't gone before. Not a lot of people were wanting to see kind of an exploration episode. And, well, I'm about to give it to you guys. So let's get down to the bottom here. Actually, we want to turn on all lights that we can. That way I can see. And there we go. All right, so let's get moving here, and let's see what we can find on the bottom of the ocean. Still not convinced that there isn't anything down here. Oh, jeez. It is getting absolutely deep now. All right, I can still see some waves breaking up there. We're below some fish. Kind of wish this thing had maybe a spotlight on it. I turned my flashlight on. That somewhat actually helps, surprisingly. All right, so we're going down. Where in the heck is the bottom of the ocean here? How far have we made it out? Okay, there it is. I can somewhat see plant life. Dude, that's crazy. All right, so we're at the bottom. This is where we need to start skimming the bottom. Uh, no telling what we might find down here. I'm kind of excited, actually. All right, we're coming up to like a cliff area, I think. Oh, I just hit the bottom. It's just going to fall back down. All right, here it goes. It's getting even deeper. How deep is this seafloor? Like, I'm really curious now. Like... Is there an end? There's going to be a bottom somewhere. But question is, where is that bottom form? Does it form really far off the islands? Or is it just random? Like, I'm curious as to how they, they develop the sea floor in this game. Oh, you know what? This looks... That looks like the same formation that we saw last time. Yeah, I had you guys guess as to what this was. Some people are just like, oh, it's a rock, which, you know, it very well may be just a rock. But it is indeed a weird-looking rock. Like, it almost looks like a natural bridge, and it's got all the holes in it. Uh, let's get a better look at this real quick. Uh, I don't think we actually ever went to the bottom of it just to see if there's anything down here. I don't believe there is. Uh, except for a bunch of fishies. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty empty. I don't have any spotlights or anything to really, really try to discover this thing. Um, let's try to go a little further down. Anything down here? Any little secrets? I kind of want to get out. Uh, maybe we should do that. Oh, boy. Uh oh Oh, no, we're stuck. Oh, we can do this. Uh, you know, we're going to go down. Yeah, I don't believe there's anything down there. I can see it. It's just sea floor. Hmm, well, that's not anything interesting. All right, so we're on our way back. We've been searching. There is nothing down here of interest uh, that I've seen so far. Doesn't mean that there isn't anything there, but... Did it get stormy all of a sudden? Oh, boy. We've been out for a while, actually, huh? Let's get up to the surface here. Whoa, that is cool looking. Man, I love that blue glow off the, uh, off the little mini sub here. All right, that... Yeah, that looks like the dock back there. Let's start heading back that way. And we're going to wrap this episode up, I believe. All right, almost back up to the dock here. This thing's a little hard to pilot in the rough waters. And what is that? Hold on. Oh, let's get back up here. What? What the heck? I think there was something already setting in the dock. Oh, let's go up. Come on. We got to get a little, little bunny launch. Come on, we got a little, get a little bunny hop here. Oh, there we go. Wait. What is, hold on. What is that? Uh, 
Oh, we need to here. We're gonna exit this. We the port like the little docks blocked. What in the heck is that? Uh, what? Oh boy. Yeah, that's that's not good. But anyways, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Stormworks. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, that little teaser there at the end kind of led us into what's going to be one of our next episodes. Uh, so tune in for that because it's going to get a little bit creepy. But anyways, if you guys have any suggestions for future episodes, comment below. Hope you guys have a great day. We will see you guys next time in Stormworks.